Hey guys, this is Priya and you're watching Droidpedia Academy. Welcome back to my channel. It actually feels very good saying this because I literally disappeared off YouTube. I'm so sorry, I was going through a lot of things, but now I'm back and I'm back for good. So I have read all your comments in the meanwhile. I have uh, decided to make all these videos that you have requested for. These are the videos that are going to come up next. So stay tuned. I have given you a reason to subscribe to my channel. So please make sure to subscribe to my channel and today Today's video let us get started with how to do import and export for authenticated users now in order to do this process let's open our terminal I have a MacBook so I'm doing it on a terminal if it is a Windows then it could be a command prompt all right now the very first step that you need to perform over here is to install firebase onto terminal in order to do that, we need npm, which is our node package manager, to be there. Now, once you have npm installed, the next step is going to use this following command. I'm going to give this command in the description as well. So make sure to check that out. Make sure you're on the latest npm version as well. This might take a couple of minutes, so be patient with that. All right, you are done with the installation. Now your Firebase is active. You can verify this by typing Firebase. As you can see, there are a lot of options with which you can try. These are all the Firebase commands that you can actually use. Now we need to first log into our Firebase account. Let me clear the screen first. Now type Firebase space login. If you're doing this for the very first time, then you can directly log in. But I'm going to log out because I already logged in. Now I'm going to type Firebase login. Now the moment this is done, this is what you will see. Click on Y and click on Enter. As you could see, it directly redirects to the Firebase CLI. Log in to the account of your choice. Click on allow and that's it. As you could see, it's a successful login. With this, the process is completed. Now go to the path or location where you want to import or export. This is the location where I want to export or import my file. Let's start off with exporting a particular file. To do that, I have a small documentation which I would like to show which is from the official Firebase platform. I'm going to give the link of this one as well. These are the following two commands that we are going to use today. Now let us see how to use them. As you can see when we go to auth and export it says Firebase auth export with the file name that you would want the format. That's it. It should ideally work. But if you want any specific project, let me show how it is actually done. Type Firebase auth. Whether it's import or export, here I'm doing export. Space. The file name that you want to save as, I would save it as data.csv hyphen hyphen project. Then follow it up with the project ID. Now here's the catch. You're going to open your Firebase console by clicking on console. Now I'm going to open the project of my choice. Go to settings, which is the project settings. This is my project ID. Copy it. Paste it. Ideally, you can see that exporting accounts to data.csv and exported two accounts successfully. Let's verify that. Going back to my desktop, my YouTube folder, and as you can see, data.csv has both of them. Now remember, if you want to change the format to JSON, then you're going to write data.json, either which ways. As you could see, these are my accounts. This is great. Now let's go with the process of importing a particular authenticated user. In the same directory, I have a file called 
save underscore file dot csv which has the authenticated users that i want to import i have made a simpler one for reference now the format in which you have to save let me first show you that because that's the most important thing remember i have shared you the official documentation have a look at that these are the following parameters that are very important while importing you need to mandatorily have hash key in order to import data if not while you're importing you have to mention the hash key for example let me show you how it is done today write firebase auth import if you remember my file name was save underscore file dot csv so save underscore file dot csv hyphen hyphen project and the project id paste that particular project id this is how you import data this might take a couple of minutes and it will work but however if you're having any errors at this point that could possibly be because of hash key not available in that case along with the project what you're going to do is write hyphen hyphen hash hyphen key and you can generate one from any of these kind of options hash key is kind of mandatory in terms you can choose the key that you want to generate for instance i am using this one copy it let's go back beside the hash key paste it and click on enter this will resolve the issue and do you see my import is successful either the way it will work but if sometimes your import doesn't have a hash key then this becomes very much mandatory let's have a look if the import was successful or not let's go back to our project so i'm in my project location go to authentication and as you could see the user is successfully imported let me show you my save file as well as you could see the user was to at the rate gmail.com and that was successfully imported it is simple and very easy isn't it let me know in the comment section down below whether this video actually helped you or not if it did do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel bye